Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get here with the truth. So today, we're continuing my 2022 year-end top 10s as we're going to look at my number 8 lightweight in the world right now, the undefeated William Zepeda. Zepeda was not ranked um, coming into the year. He's uh, very young, 26 years old. Overall, he's 27-0 and with 23 knockouts. This guy has some pop, but he showed that he can win decisions in 2020, um, 2022 because he went out there against, um, you know, and got two very, um, he actually got three wins this year. The first one, he took on Luis Vietas, an unknown guy, and got a third round knockout. That was in uh, February. Then in May, they matched him up against former junior lightweight champion and veteran Rene Alvarado. And, you know, some people actually criticize him for not knocking Alvarado out, even though he dominated the action and won a decision. I did too. I was a little critical because I felt like Alvarado moving up to 135, that uh, if you're a true uh, power puncher, you should be able to knock a, a former champ who's passed it a little bit and also is a smaller guy. Remember, Alvarado used to fight at 126. So um, I felt like he should have knocked him out. He didn't, but he got a clean decision. But that led to a November showdown with former junior lightweight champion Jojo Diaz. And Zepeda came in a big underdog, in my opinion. I, I, I honestly thought that he couldn't hang with Diaz's boxer puncher uh, style, and I thought that Diaz was gonna um, was gonna go out there and beat him, uh, uh, you know, beat him convincingly too. But he went out there and absolutely dominated the action and really uh, d beat him to the punch consistently and scored a very clean unanimous decision win over the former champ Diaz, and that really has uh, shot him up the rankings. He's currently number three in the WBA right now, and he's trying to land. You know, uh, he's trying to land a serious title shot at some point. And, um, you know, he's definitely, uh, got, you know, he definitely can, can get the opportunity this year. Him fighting for Golden Boy in the zone might be a little bit of an issue because right now the top dogs are with the PBC, like Gervonta Davis, and, um, and obviously ESPN top rank with Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko. But I think at the very least, you can see Zapata get himself into a title eliminator and you know in the first half of the year and then shit maybe the WBA title is is you know will be an opportunity for him maybe he can become the mandatory maybe Geronte Davis gets upgraded to the full champion maybe the belt's vacant there's a lot of different things that can happen at lightweight that I'm expecting and William Zapata as long as he's still undefeated which he should be um he should he could get a major opportunity at a world title. So I think right now it's about 50-50. He gets a title opportunity in 2023, and I hope he does. So um, that's it. That's what I got. That's my, num that's my number eight lightweight in the world right now at 135 pounds, William Cepeda. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Our, as my 2022 year-end top tens continue, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.